Hello, good afternoon. Welcome everyone to a Noble Day 2020. I'm so excited to see some of your faces and your videos. Uh, welcome, so happy to have you here. Uh, my name is Melinda McIntyre. I am the Director of Alumni Supports for the Noble Network. Again, we're thrilled to have you join us for this year's A Noble Day. We celebrate A Noble Day every year to bring Noble's 17,500 alumni together to celebrate their noble love on their college campuses and in their workplaces. Uh, this year is a little different, as you may know, and is our first virtual celebration, and we're so happy you can join us. This evening, we will be starting with uh, our alumni professional development sessions and continue with a large celebration with a fireside chat with our noble CEO, Constance Jones, alumni showcase, and wrap up with our keynote speaker, Sir John. And so we're really thrilled to go ahead and get it started. Um, please enjoy your evening and thank you so much for being here. Wonderful. So we do tell you, welcome once again, Elias. We're glad that you decided to come and learn more about the Noble Forward experience. So just a little bit about who we are. Noble Forward is a program of the Noble Network of Charter Schools in partnership with Southern New Hampshire University, College for America, as well as Brandman University. We are actually a nonprofit organization and we're operating in Chicago and we do serve all students from every neighborhood in Chicago as well. I'm so happy to be a part of the Noble Forward team and in the room with us today we have Yara Shadid. She's actually one of the ex uh, excellent coaches that we have at Noble Forward. And of course we have Mr. Rapp, which is the director of Noble Forward as well. So the kind of things that we ask about, um, let's kind of get into what exactly Noble Forward is. So the first thing, I talk to a lot of students and they're like, are you guys the college? No, we are not the college, we're actually your support. However, Noble Forward is the college experience that gives you rigorous academics. You're gonna earn a regionally accredited bachelor's degree from both either online with Southern New Hampshire University or Bramman University. So that's really important because when you're trying to choose a school, one of the main things that you should look at, even in addition to costs and so forth and programs, you wanna make sure that those programs are accredited and that they will be valuable once you graduate. So there's no worries there at all. Also with Noble Forward, we deal with a lot of intensive coaching. So you won't just say, hey, how you doing, Ms. Yara, and leave, but in fact, Ms. Yara will actually follow up with you, help you to develop a plan, reach out to you about things that may be bothering you, for example, even outside of academics. So our coaching is definitely personalized, it's full of life, it's about you and making sure that you're supported and that you're successful. Also, know before it, we're all about supporting, right? We are here to support our noble alumni. And so what that means is we have small cohorts. What does that mean for you? Who cares if I have a small cohort? Well, the reason is, is because you have dedicated attention that you can actually connect with your coach, figure out answers to questions that you may have and get those responses right away. We also have a small cohort of peers where you can study together, learn and glean from one another. We have plenty of resources available. And we even have a dedicated study location. Currently, we're all about the, the whole, um, you know, being virtual right now. But once we're back on campus, this is a sneak peek of Mural Park, which is where our students will have a space where they can study, they can learn, they can hang out and relax, do everything that a student should do in their college program. This is like the dedicated space that we have where you can pull up with your laptop, again, collaborate about projects, everything you need to be successful. Noble Forward is thinking about it, and then we also take suggestions on how we can do things even better. So, getting in today, what we're gonna talk about would be the benefits of competence-based education. We're also gonna talk about Noble Forward University partnerships, available programs, program cost and using financial aid and getting started with the application process and of course any questions that you may have. So what is this whole competence-based education about? Kind of fancy, right? A mouthful of words. What exactly is this? 
Well, the competency-based education network defines competency-based education as an academic model in which the time a student takes to demonstrate competency is flexible while the expectations about learning are constant. So I thought about that. So Amber, what exactly does that mean? So for example, we have a syllabus from Cleveland Community College, right? An example syllabus. So here a syllabus is kind of like lays out everything that you need to know about the class. One of the things that caught my attention is that you're gonna need a textbook. And I see that ISBN number. So that means you may have to purchase that book for the particular class. And then some additional supplies as well that you'll need. And then the technology that you'll need. So it's kind of laying out the things that you would need for that class. But oh, here's the more detailed about it, right? So you get all these materials, you go to class, and then you hope to get an A, but there's a possibility that you could get all the grades in between an A and an F, right? So it's kind of ambiguous, and that's the way that the traditional model typically works. You'll also notice at the bottom where it says the attendance policy. All the way at the bottom it says, I would encourage you not to miss any classes, but if you must, you may only miss six days in this class. That's really time constrained, right? And so the difference between competency-based education is that you have all of the things that you need to be successful, you'll learn the same type of um, skills, and you'll also earn the same type of knowledge. However, the flexibility comes in that time frame, right? It also comes in with the fact that you can go as fast as you want with your studies, I meaning you can take all weekend and read all the materials and do the work, or you can go slower if you choose, if you're working every day, you have other responsibilities. This program is built on flexibility. So a competence-based system, it basically gives a student credit when they already have demonstrated they know the skill, right? So in this program, students either have a mastered or a mastery or not yet. So going back to the grades, you don't have to worry about, did I do well enough? Did I earn a B? I hope I got an A. All of those worries are eliminated in a competence-based program because the choices of mastery is either you did it, you mastered it, or you didn't. And please don't think that that means that the grade is just nothing and you know it's like a, you, you pass by the night. No, a mastery in this program means that you've actually earned the equivalent to an A, okay? Also, you get a chance to redo the project. Do a little better if you didn't reach the mark right away. That's not a benefit that you get in a traditional program. Most times when you submit the paper, that's it. You get the grade and it's over with, right? So again, you get the opportunity to revise and do your best quality work and receive the highest grade in a competence-based program. So there is no such thing as failing. Also, students work on their own time. Again, you set the rules. Class is not synchronous. You don't have to come to class at nine o'clock and you don't have to stay there for three hours. This is about organizing yourself. This is about taking control of your education and allowing yourself to go as fast as you need to. So you get the ability to work on your own time. You submit projects when you are ready, as long as it's within your term. And again, you set your own pace. So it kind of gives you a breakdown. When you think about credit hours, that's synonymous to competency, right? So one credit hour is the same thing as saying uh, one competency. One of the things that you'll realize in this program, again, is that it prepares you for the workforce, prepares you for everyday knowledge that you will need to be successful in your career. However, it does not penalize you if you cannot meet rigorous time constraints. Again, this is all about flexibility. So I mentioned before, we actually have a partnership with two universities, okay? Our first partnership is with Southern New Hampshire University, and the actual program is called College for America. Our other program is Brandman University, and the program is actually called My Path. Both of the programs are actually rooted in a competency-based education, so they both have the flexibility. They both allow you to go as fast as you want. They both have you to master the competence and then you move on without being penalized with a grade below an A. The student is actually empowered in this program to complete the projects and demonstrate the skills that you need rather than being worried about, did I make it to class on time? 
So when we deal with competency-based programs, a lot of people want to know, what can I actually study? Well, the good thing about it is that Southern New Hampshire University, they offer a lot of different programs that you can get started with. For example, we have the Bachelor of Arts in Communication. So what do you learn with the Bachelor of Arts in Communication? Some people learn how to manage social media, how to market, how to help communications as far as a business organization, making sure that those uh, communications go out in a professional way. So you learn all of these things and more. And the good thing about our program is that the communications degree was also approved to take you into a path of teaching if that's what your career goal is. So it's fully packed with many opportunities. Now, many people are familiar with like focus and minor and so forth. So when you think of this, you get a concentration. You get to put your attention into something specific. You could either focus on healthcare management, communications in that healthcare management field, or you can do a concentration in business. Again, Southern New Hampshire is offering you many opportunities to be able to move forward in your career and reach all of your potential. They also have the Bachelor of Arts in Management. You can concentrate on three focuses here, either public administration, insurance services, logistics and operations. Logistics and operations, I think we're all familiar with Amazon, right? A really popular organization. And they get all of the business because they understand what supply chain management is about, logistics and operations, how to keep the process moving. You too can learn all of these concepts within this model. And lastly, if you want to focus on making the world better, how to bring a community together and teach them the importance of global health, for example. We do have a Bachelor of Arts in Healthcare Management. I think the pandemic has kind of shown us it's really important to have professionals that know exactly what they're talking about, that know how to navigate the nuances of the medical world and also bring aboard the community with you, right? It's important to get the community buy-in. Again, with this program, you will have the opportunity to learn how professionals operate in the healthcare management field. Now, I didn't get to, you know, Brandman University because we have a lot more to go, right? You have the ability to earn your associates both in Southern New Hampshire's program as well as with Brandman University's program. With Brandman, we focus more on the business model, right? I've talked to a lot of students and say, hey, Amber, I want to start my own business. Hey, Amber, how do I get more colleagues or more people to buy into my business? So a lot of them come to me for this degree because they get to focus on their businesses and if they have transfer credits, they too can bring those credits over and potentially start a little bit further ahead in the program. So they focus on, the business programs focus on general business, so you'll know how to do a little bit of everything. Information systems management, it is really important for people to organize the data that they receive, right, so that they can offer better service. They also offer management and organizational leadership. I think a lot of people will say, hey, if I was a manager, I would do things differently. Here, you're actually able to get that experience and earn a bachelor's degree while getting that same experience. They also offer a marketing focus where you'll learn again how to propel a business, how to get the name out there, how to brand your business, how to work in social media. And again, we have the supply chain management and logistics program dealing more with how do we get more food into the grocery stores, for example, right? When the pandemic hit, everybody bought everything. We had to have experts that dealt with supply chain management to make sure that every store had the supplies they need, which ultimately kept people at bay and no one panicked, right? So we need professionals to do that. And that's actually a very strong career outlook in supply chain management as well. So lots of opportunities with Noble Forward. And then last but not least, we have our Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. This will give you a plethora of experience, how to better organize and automate systems in your organizations or in the everyday world around you. And so if you have a knack for computers, if you have a curiosity about how all of these things work technically, this may be the program for you. You also have the opportunity within the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology program to earn over three IT certifications. That alone saves you a lot of money and time to bettering your career. 
So this is just the overview, nothing to scare you away. But I know people are really, you know, curious. What exactly is this competence again, Amber? So specifically, a competence is simply like one credit hour. Also, you'll hear in this, in this term or in this actual program, projects. So you get to put your knowledge to work. These projects are also synonymous to a major assignment or one college credit hour. And then when you do three projects or if you take on three goals, that in itself leads you to an actual, or three projects rather, leads you to a specific goal. So as you can see, working with Southern New Hampshire University, you're gonna get a lot of help with building to your specific plan. Nothing will be pushed upon you where you don't know what you're doing or you're feeling left alone. Everything breaks down to the very smallest component so that you can understand, so that you can be in control, and so that you are being propelled to your next level. So this is just an example of some of the competencies that you may go over, right? So some people are like, what will I study, Amber? Well, you'll study, for example, how to become a better leader, develop as a leader. What does it take to be a leader? I think in today's time, it's kind of cur curious to a lot of people, what does it really take for me to be a manager? You would learn these concepts immediately. You won't have to wait until you graduate or get an internship or get an externship. You'll learn these things right away because this is how the program is actually built. So, first of all, it's important that a student learns and that their academics increase and that you're earning credits and you're doing all of these great things, but how do you get there? At Noble Forward, we do believe in supporting our students to the fullest extent. We have technology loaner resources. We have technology resources, transportation resources, and potential last dollar scholarships. We also deal with the community. We love dealing with our Noble alumni. And we love connecting you to so many resources that you may not be privy to just because of your busy lives. We're family friendly. We have like a babysitter's you know, service set up where if you have a child and you wanna bring them with you to go to work or to you know, study your assignments, you can do that in the Muir Park space. We've thought about all of the different things that we can do to support you as a student. We also have career development. We have development sessions that really help you to talk with other students. I know it's kind of fearful for some to be in an online program. They're like, I don't want to be alone. Well, in Noble Forward, it's not just being online. You're a part of a community. We're together in this and we're here to support you. Lastly, we do have work study opportunities available to those that are financial aid recipients. So we have a lot of different things that we're building for our students because again, your success is our goal. So wouldn't you wanna know like, has anyone gone to this program before? Are they successful? Well, let's brag a little bit about Noble Ford and the accomplishments that we've made. First of all, we have one of our uh, coaches who actually graduated from the program. He did this within 14 months and he transferred his associate's degree from the City Colleges of Chicago. He earned his bachelor's in 14 months. That is unheard of, but it took dedication and it took being in tune with what his specific goals were. And he was supported to reach those goals. We also have a Gary Com Comer class of 2014 graduate who finished his associates in nine months. It normally takes people two years to finish an associate, but at Noble Forward, he got it done. Because of his dedication, he was able to go as fast as he wanted. Our re most recent graduate, oh my goodness, she finished her associates within 20 months. Listen, it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go, it matters that you're pacing yourself to graduate with your degree sooner than later. So we deal with some eligibility, and all of this is just to kind of like give you some overview about what it may take to get into the program. So the good thing about it is if you're a new high school graduate, if you graduated in 2021, this is still an option for you. You will have to submit your transcripts and things like that, like your diploma if you attend um, our partnership with Brandon University. But if you start with Southern New Hampshire, nothing's really needed. We are supporting you from the very beginning. So I'm glad to hear that you're kind of figuring out your options now, because this is definitely a place for you to be if you want flexibility, 
if you want low cost intuition and if you want to be highly supported by a community that cares. So in regards to how do you pay for college? Like this sounds all good, Amber, but get to the point. How do you pay for all of this? Well, we did some comparisons. If you were to attend an in-district City College of Chicago, for example, your average tuition could potentially be for the semester $3,500, okay? With that, you may be expected to pay books in the amount of, pay for books and supplies in the amount of $1,900, and your annual expected cost would potentially be around $5,400. However, with the Noble Forward program, you have flexibility where you don't have to worry about purchasing books, you do not have to worry about any additional university fees and all of these athletic fees and anything else that can be added in. This is all about giving you the access that you need. So the tuition is 6,000 a year, okay? However, the good thing about it is that we break that up into four month terms. And within those four months, you get assigned 12 competencies. We actually take the whole drama out of you picking the right classes, what should I do? We pick the classes for you. You go in a specific order. But say for instance, you finish those classes like Tyriel a little bit sooner. You finish those competencies a little bit sooner. You could ask Southern New Hampshire or even Bramman University for more credits and they would give them to you at no additional cost. Why is that important? It's important because you wouldn't pay any additional money for more credit hours, so that saves you money on tuition. And then also it's important because you potentially speed up your time to graduation. Remember, no one's telling you you can't finish things early. No one's telling you that you can't take on additional credit hours within your term. We're telling you that the sky is the limit and you have every resource available to you to complete the goal that you set out to do, and that's earning your college degree. So when we get into next steps, I talk to students all the time. And they're like, I need to get my transcripts. I need to call my other advisor at my other school. I need to talk to my alumni counselor. Don't worry about any of that, okay? What's important is that you know that enrollment with Noble Forward literally, actually starts with a genuine conversation. I wanna talk with you about what's driving you to go to school. Why not pick another avenue? What worked for you before? What are you concerned about? Where is your life taking you? I wanna know all of these details because that helps us to create a better plan and a plan that we can actually stick with and help you to succeed. I also wanna know about your educational background. If you've gone to schools, if you've taken some fun classes, what are you interested about? Because those types of things will anchor you into completing your degree. And then I definitely wanna help you to set out on the right path. So if you don't have an idea of what you wanna do and what career you wanna go into, that's fine. We can take a free, a free career assessment and kind of lead us into the path in which you should actually go. Also a part of the application process is the financial aid, right? If you want to complete financial aid applications, which is called the FAFSA, the Free Application for Student Aid, if you want help with completing that, I walk you through the entire process. You can even bring a parent along. I prefer you to bring a parent along, right? Bring your entire support system. Bring the people that want to see you succeed so that we can all talk together and again, create a viable plan to really help you to move forward. So in regards to that, I'd like to know, do you know someone who should be a part of this program? If it's yourself, I want you to click the link that's provided to you in the chat box. If it's yourself, you can add yourself, your own information. And if it's a friend, if it's a mom, if it's a dad, if it's someone that you know who's been talking about, oh, I really need to get into school. I really need that flexibility. How can I get involved? Click the link, add them, and I'll give them a call just to talk with them. They're not locked into anything at all. It's just simply offering our help and our resources to help them succeed just like you. So let's take a moment and go ahead and do that now.
Now, I might have said my name like a hundred times already during this presentation, right? I, mean, I think I said Amber like a hundred times literally, but I really want that to be ingrained because I'm only a phone call away. I'm only an email away. The entire team is accessible to you. So I never want you to feel as if, oh, how can I get in contact with someone? Listen, give me a call, you can text me, or you can email me, whichever is convenient with you. Again, this is about your opportunity, it's about you moving forward with your goals, and it's about Noble Forward being that bridge to help you to get there. So I'm excited to work with you. And at this time, if you have any questions, anything that you're wanting to know about, curious about, please at this time, you can go ahead and ask them now. I do not have any questions. Thank you for the giving me information on this. I really soaked up all the information that was dropped, uh, even though I joined mid-session. I am familiar with the Noble Forward program and, you know, uh, looking at my path in the future, I, I might be interested in a future cohort. I love that, Damien. And definitely, Elias, um, the whole goal is that I run these sessions all the time. So if you want to invite anybody with you, but I would definitely love to set up an appointment with you just to see uh, specifically, Damien, where exactly you are right now in your studies and what you're looking to do and really to help you to create a viable plan. So I'm excited to work with you. I think I have access to your contact information. So do you mind me sending you an email so that we can connect after this? Please do. I, I referred myself. Um, look at you. You are ahead of the game. I love it. I love Pretty it. Pretty ahead of the game. <laughs> I love it. And that's exactly what this is about. I want you guys to definitely feel free to share with uh, your, your friends, people that you may have graduated with. Again, I started a fun little contest um, just to see like how many friends could go to school together, right? Because if you build your strong community, you're most likely to succeed because you guys are all talking about the same things. So definitely, I'm going to connect with you ASAP so that we can get the ball rolling and, and, and get you started. <laughs> now, we do have our director, uh, Eric Rapp, who is a part of the line. If we had anything like more detailed or if Eric, if there's something that you wanted to cover as well, please feel free at this point to kind of like give your tidbits and exactly, you know, what the students should look forward to. Yeah, well, thank you, Amber. Um, Except I haven't uh, sat in one of your info sessions yet, so it was quite a treat to uh, to do that this evening. Um, I guess you've covered everything. I guess all I would say is, uh, you know, Elias, if uh, this is something that you're interested in as you look through all of your options this year, definitely reach out to us. Keep us in mind too. If uh, if it's not right for you, maybe you know some classmates or folks in your family or community that might be into it, um, and. Damien, just nice to see you. I know we worked, uh, used to work next to each other back when we could do that. So it's just great to see your face. And uh, I know you've been working real hard on getting your degrees. So, uh, you know, we'd love to talk to you further if that's something you're, you're into. I am. Uh, I mean, after, after year up, which is the, cur the current program that I'm in, um, I should acquire 31 ACE credits, which are pretty mm -hmm. applicable across the country. Mm -hmm. And then also adding on to that, like, prior college credits, so I, I really wouldn't be that close to the end, but using this as another support system, and it would just be wonderful. Yeah. I love to hear PLAs, ACE credits, like get the credits that are not traditional. So I'm all for that because if you have the knowledge, you know, test out of it if you can, right? And so I would love to see like the course history of what you've taken and just go ahead and get an evaluation started so we know specifically what's coming over and you know, trail the path for you and kind of blaze that path and get everything opened up. Very exciting. Yara, do you have anything that you'd like to say in regards to coaching and something that the students should prepare for maybe with coming in in January? Um, well, first, Amber, thank you. That was a great, <laughs> that was a wonderful presentation. Um, I, and, and you touched on this already, but to kind of emphasize the, you know, like the coaching piece is, really like a very important part of you know the accountability in this program and it's more than just like your advisor kind of like asking you if you did your homework you know um it's a little less like that and a, just a little more um 
um, support around like just removing barriers or um, problem solving anything that sort of comes up in your life that keeps you from getting to where you need to be. Um, there's a lot of things that just sort of pop up out of nowhere. Um, and we can sort of help with a lot of that. I was just actually helping another student uh, apply for uh, repayment for his loan. It has nothing to do with uh, SNHU, um, but you know, just needed some advice and we looked into it and we were able to kind of solve that problem. So um, the coaching is definitely more than just the academic piece, which for me personally, I really love. And I think a lot of my students appreciate too. Um, because they have like a safe space to go and uh, ask questions um, when they need to. If you don't mind me interrupting just really quick, I'm going to go back to my original session. Thank you very much for this. I look forward to following up. Adios. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, thanks, Amber. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Uh, I referred my friend Jamari. And like I put his whole information into the into the Google form. Okay. Then he goes to my school and he's graduating this year too. We're in twenty twenty. Sweet. So you got some good friends. You guys are sitting around thinking about how you're going to college. Do you have an idea of what you want to major in, or you're kind of like I'm going to figure it out once I get to that point? What well, I'm into right now is marketing. Ooh. So like I want to. Just like, I don't know what field I'm going to go in marketing, but I know I like the idea of marketing, like a marketing analyst, marketing like for advertisement and just marketing in general. And what draws you to, to marketing? Because that's a well, pretty awesome field. Well, what drew me first was like, I was just researching good marketing for a good, not a good marketing, but like good majors for like, for people who like math and like art, because like I'm in I'm in AP statistics and AP art this year. Oh wow! So I so with those, I feel like I could in marketing. I could do like some type of graphic design and for like for social media, like you said earlier, or like maybe maybe just some something to do with statistics. Just you know. I love it. The fact that you're like, I love statistics. I think I took two statistics class in college and I was like, oh my goodness, someone helped me immediately. And and guess what? The fact that you have an interest for it and like you're hungry for it and you're curious for it, the more you learn, it's just going to take that light bulb and take it further. So I'm definitely very happy that you've already kind of figured out what career path you want to go into. You know exactly what type of career outlet because you're like maybe an analyst in marketing or just marketing with advertising. So you even know the the different branches to it. I would say, have you tried to figure out like an internship or anything, or have you worked in that field already? I haven't worked in the field yet, but I feel like for me personally, I would like to get my experience in learning in the school, how to how to go into that field, then go into an internship. So gotcha. So you're like, let me learn some information first, and then send me somewhere to practice what I've learned. Yeah. Wow, excellent. And now what about, you know, as far as family, would you be the second, third, fourth, fifth person going to college or how, how does that work? Well, I'll be the first person to be graduating high school in this new generation because, because my grandma, she had a, she's older. So like she had to drop out of school to help her mom raise the younger siblings and in puerto rico and when she came to states all her kids including my dad he they went to high school and they just they just did some general courses but they didn't really get a degree in in college so i would be the first one in the newer generation to be going to college and finishing oh, high school that is so impressive Oh my goodness, kudos to you, definitely. You're like, I'm the first doing a lot of different things on the first. So I can yeah. just imagine the family is very proud of you. Yeah. Right on. Yes. So I'm gonna be watching your story just because like you've told me all these great things and I like to pretend like I'm a young person again and you know, live vicariously through you guys. <laughs> 
So when I see you walking with that marketing degree and you're like doing big things, I'm gonna feel like I was there from the very beginning. Thank you so much for your time, Elias. We really appreciate spending so much time with you this evening. You're welcome. Thank you. And don't forget to tell your friend that you added him as a, as a uh, you know, referral so that when we reach out to him and say hello, just so he's like, where'd you get my information? Be like, give him a heads up to let him know where, we, where he, he got, we got it from. Yeah, of course. All right. Well, we are leaving the breakout room, so we are off.